I was replacing the fuel lines in this chainsaw and I couldn't get the fuel line through that itty bitty hole that goes down to the fuel tank. I tried a couple different things and I came up with this. It's a piece of wire. The end is bent over a couple times and put inside the fuel line. Then I used a lighter to heat up and melt the fuel line. So once that's in there, I can feed this wire in through the fuel tank and up through the hole. And once the wire's here, I can pull on it. And you see that's not that's not coming off. So that'll pull through any hole in any fuel tank. And you have this fish line ahead of it to pull it through. So, so I'll show you how I did that. So I've got a little tiny galvanized wire and I'm going to bend it over enough times to fit inside my fuel line. Not really snugly, just enough to take up some room in there. So when the fuel line melts around it, it'll make a bump to prevent pulling it out. So that, that fits through the hole. You can show them the hole in the tank. That fits into the hole. All right, I'll take my fuel line over here. Stick that little knob into the line. I might have actually one more fold than I need. I'm gonna take one of those out. Shove that in there, yeah, about an inch. There's no gas nearby. I'm gonna light this thing up. I'm excited about my idea, so my hand shaking a little bit. Melting, melting. All right, that's nice and warm. Hopefully I don't burn myself too much here. I'm gonna take this tubing and pull it out and twist it at the same time. So it thins out right there. That is hot. Hit it one more time. Pull it out and twist it so it gets really thin. I'm leaving a lump here at the end, but I'm going to cut that off when it gets cold. When it cools off. So there's my piece. As that cools down, it'll get stronger, a stronger grip on the wire. There's a little doodle around here that goes on the end of this line. Don't know where it got to. The saw came out of a dumpster, by the way. All right, pause it for a second while I look for this thing. All right, I found the little thingy. It looks like a coupler. When I took this all apart, there was nothing attached to it. So, I'm gonna stick that on there. Take this wire. Stick it down there in the fuel tank and make it come out the hole. Let's go to the top now. It's better to pull from inside the tank because of the way the castings are. So 
I got the hose through. Very hard to pull, but the wire held on pretty tight. It's starting to break now. I think I heated up a little too much. So I can pull this through. That's right where I want it. And I'll cut that to length and attach it to the primer bulb. And that's it, but I was just super excited. It worked really well and had to share it. All right.